Don't care what I look like, and we are always the commoner. Hey, at least we got some cattails immediately. If I can get some flint. Alright, we should have some better performance this time. Might have totally eliminated the lag. Give flint. Where are you, flint? We got cattails galore. Show me the flint. There's flint. More, please. are branchy. Jeez, I got uh, I got cattails galore, but <laughs> I can't get sticks to save my life. That's gonna be rough. Uh Need to find like a border region to this biome. All right, this will help. Okay. Get to chopping reeds. Hopefully we get a little less swamp this time when we start traveling.
All right, that was a lot easier than last time. First part done. Next up, um, start cutting some grass. Okay. I think, I think, I think. That away. That is north. My preference is south. But he's killing rabbits. Um, go that way. Purdy shale. Basics taken care of. Right, I haven't picked up a single food item, have I? I have not. Uh, no berry bushes ready to eat, all empty. Who's been eating the berries?
Borax. Okay, pretty nice little area. Yeah, I can heal again. <laughs> Had people asking me about it. I haven't played it in a while. I figured I'd jump in for an evening. See if there was viewer interest in watching me go through Vintage Story again. I always enjoy a good Vintage Story romp. Alright, that's all we need for that part. Check out the ruins. I think we'll just use this as our base for the evening. Oh, it's one of those floaty ones again. Food, huh? Mm, more rice. And fire clay. Eh, don't need fire clay. All right, so that way is south. And we got a stone biome ahead of us. I might go up there and take a look that direction. It's not a terrible little area. We got a fairly memorable mountain for keeping our sense of direction. Um, we got forests with the basics for horsetail and such. We got a uh, stone biome nearby. I can spot some... Especially in the stone biome up there, if there's uh, pine trees, you might be able to do something useful. All right. Um, not really a good wall to set up against. They'll just drop in on me. I'll probably set up somewhere else. Too hard to get this configured to something I can defend. Farming. Oh my goodness, that's not farming. <laughs> that's flax twine in a handbasket. <laughs> Too late. Uh, I can turn that back into uh, yeah, reeds, but I don't really need the reeds. All right, 1600. We got to get the basics set up. Um, geez, another one. More tools. I guess we could use this as a wall. I'd have to put a roof on it, though. Yeah, we'll just set up a little hovel over here. We've got calm activity, so it should be fine. I need to get digging, though, and get the fire stuff going.
Almost done. I think I'm gonna forego the door. Just put dirt in. I ever got killed through a wall not in memory uh, the problem was just the stupid storms are dumb they're easy to avoid when you know how to do it and there's no alternative but hide and I, it, it just, that's why I turn them off because they're just they're just dumb they're just big time dumb <clears throat> All right, get that started. We'll get some more sticks. Fighting out a storm. <laughs> fighting regular ones that spawn in the evenings and caves and such, fine. But the storms, you can have nightmare drifters show up. And you're not fighting those in the early game. I mean, late game, maybe. But at that point, who cares? Early game stuff is the tough stuff. You got no choice but to hide in the early game from the, uh, the storms. Eight pine trees are terrible for leaves or branches. Oak is much better. Which is my main issue with them. If they would just gradually get tougher so the first storm you get the low low level guys and uh an amount that you could deal with and they just slowly trickle in that's fine but that's not what ends up happening anyway if you're able to kill them in the early game you're not really getting much out of the effort i mean there's no experience so you're not skilling anything up you don't usually have time to loot the corpses, and if you do, it's just the 
I forget the actual percentages, but the really low chance mostly of getting uh, a thread. Occasionally, um, that one other item that saves your spot. Forgot what it was. There's no real incentive to do it. <clears throat> Oops, I am full. Okay.
It was so much fun doing this day one stuff. All right, that is enough of that. That'll give me 60 torches. So I got 34 grass. Um, let's finish stacking the grass. Three tools and good strength. We've got flint, a uh, uh, near full stack of grass. Don't need you anymore. Got two of all the tools. Uh, started on our flax twine. We need is that enough for the bag upgrade. Is it four and then four for the linen and then one? I don't remember. Uh, linen sack. It is four and one. Yeah, I could do a linen sack upgrade. Hmm. Do it. I uh, forgot the best way to do this. Let's just do it this way. Hey, kind of my inventory. Back in my inventory. Okay, only midnight. We're just about done. A little bit more grass to finish topping that up. We've got flint enough. We'll grab more as we travel. We've got a full stack of sticks ready to go. All the torches are just about done. Got a much friendlier start this time. Hey there, Retinaru. And friends, welcome.
Oh, it's going well? Well, it always goes well, right up until the bear shows up. <laughs> or the wolf. Or the deep hole. You know, the usual killers. So the plan, once again, the clouds always go west to east. So that is south. Um, like I said, it's kind of a nice little biome area here. We got the friendly ruins that we could either redo for our own little base, clean up the interior and make everything nice and symmetrical, which would be a little tough with the weird flooring that's floating. But um, we got the forest area nearby. A decent sized mountain for reference. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, reconnoitering in each direction to see what biomes we've got adjacent before we start doing any long range travel trying to find our forever home. Got a linen bag upgrade already. Two extra slots. All right, uh, it's starting to get light again. Let's just keep mowing the lawn. Get a full stack. If we do start traveling, I'll get a bedroll. Or we'll sleep at the merchants so we can fast forward through the nighttime. If we decide to travel. Sixty-three, sixty-four. Good old starter guide. <laughs> Preparing for winter. <laughs> 70 in-game days to prepare for the cold season. Stone pottery, early copper, late copper, bronze, tin, zinc, and gold, silver, iron age, late iron, and steel. You know, in one or two blocks. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to have extra slots. Got lucky. This little ruin here had three, four, I forget. I think three storage vessels. Mm, we've got a bunch of linen out of one of them. And it's getting purpley. Yep, still on life two. Just finished up the first day. We're fully prepped and ready for travel. Well, we're going to scout the area first. It meets a couple of my criteria for a forever home. So we're going we're gonna to go east a little bit, find a high point, and take a look around. West, or I mean west. East, we got the big-ass mountain range. Not much I can do there. Um, we know that direction is a bit foresty. I forget how much we came over that to find this. Then we got this little, eh, it's not quite flat grasslands. We got this small area that is, but um, I think that's pine trees in the distance was another thing. We got a uh, stone biome next to a uh, small flat grassland. That's two of my criteria. And the forest, which is another one. So ideally I want a large, just f mostly flat rolling plains because you got good sight lines. You don't have to worry much about approaching wolves and bears. You can see them a long way off. Plus it tends to have a lot of crops, a lot of vegetables that you can uh, harvest from goats, mushrooms, all that kind of stuff. So I try to find one of those as my central base and then have a stone biome nearby 
have a forest nearby, um, water, of course, and various things. Did I find a linen bag or make one? We made one. We got a bunch of linen out of a storage vessel in that ruin there. So I made a linen bag out of it. Uh, it's almost light enough to get moving. Wait a little longer. 